Hello people and welcome to the first week of my prep. This is my first official week of prep before I was, I was sort of prepping but I wasn't prepping, I was prepping to get back into prepping, if you get me. I'm actually lying to you, it's not my first day of prep, it's actually my second day of prep um, and it's back day, yeah, it is pull day. I'm doing some stiff legged deadlifts to start off with and some barbell rows and then some nice fluffy stuff for my back to get it big and huge for the show. Before we go into the gym, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new because you're going to see lots of content. I'm going to try and get as much stuff out about prepping, about eating, about working out, about showing off my body. Oh, it's going to be a crazy. This this is going to be a crazy prep. I'm going to take you all the way through it. So let's get into the gym and get on them stiff-legged deadlifts. <laughs> o'clock and that workout was good but it was terrible I hate coming to the gym at this time it is annoying just too many people and they just hog the machines it's like mate do your workout and get to the next you know machine ah oh. You can tell how bad it is because I've still got some of my intra workout, which you shouldn't really have, because you know, you should have it gone by, I would say halfway through your workout. So there's a couple of exercises I showed you on film, which was my stiff legged deads, and obviously barbell rows. But um, the main part of this video, it wasn't about the whole workout, it was about me actually telling you that prepper started, yeah, and it's the workout itself it's it's fine obviously prep is n the, going to the gym is the easy part it's the eating healthy and not just eating healthy for a little bit eating healthy for a long long time you know i've been good so far i'm proud of myself it's been the second day and i've had no biscuits so give me a like that is amazing for me I have biscuits every day. I'm like the cookie monster. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, one of them things now where I've just got to focus and focus. I think I need to come at a different time to the gym, I, but this is the only time I really can get to the gym. I did come a bit later today. I don't usually come at this. I'm usually come at about four before all the uh, gym bros come and 
hog the machines in their tucked in t-shirts and their knee-high socks. Damn, why do they wear them? Do they think it looks good? No, it doesn't. No, you are not a tennis player. What I'm gonna do through the, out the preppers, I'm gonna do a lot of videos. I'm gonna be doing videos on obviously meals. I'm not gonna be standing at the kitchen cooking meals step by step. No, I'm just gonna have a big bowl or have a big plate and tell you what's on it and then say, do it yourself. Um, I'm gonna be doing that Mate, I'll tell you the calories and, you know, the protein levels because everybody likes to know some stats. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be showing a bit of a workout. I don't want to go through prep and show you a, a workout every single day. Um, I don't want to show you my physique every single week, what you see other YouTubers do, because in the end of the day, who wants to see my body every single week? like 20 odd weeks, I mean 20 odd weeks is going to be a long time and you'll be sick of seeing my body after 20 weeks, you won't even want to see what I look like at the end. So I'm going to probably leave it every two weeks minimum, maybe I might just do it like once a month, have that wow factor, that damn boy you look good, wow after a month you are shredded, you are going to win a pro card, yeah, <laughs> it's prep time. And it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious. All the YouTubers out there are all doing prep now and it's great because there's like a whole YouTube gang of people doing prep. It's quite, pe quite a few people on YouTube that I actually want to compete against and I want to beat them because they are so, so up themselves. I mean, they think they are such professionals. They think they... They talk like these big words, trying to make them sound like doctors. And I'm like, shut up. You're nothing special, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm something special, but I don't brag to be. I don't brag to be big. I don't brag to be a professional. I don't brag to be somebody who's going in the gym and pretending I'm a pro, you know and doing all these special movements where, you know, they don't half and don't work, you know, <laughs> you know, there's only a few new ones like that, the um, lateral pull down that work, the rest of them are, are pathetic, you stick to the old school, stick to the old school stuff, the stuff that win medals, you know, Phil Heath did not win a Mr. Olympia by going on cable machines all through his prep. No, he was lifting heavy weights, clanging metal on metal as many times as you can. You just go and watch some of them videos. You just go and watch Arnie. They don't rest. They are at it. Now it's too easy. It's all... What? Hey, we got a ghost. Now it's too easy. People want to do easy movements and make sure it's nice and in the right position. Oh, no, it's not all about being in the right position. Sometimes you've got to lift heavy. Yeah, your form might go, but you're lifting heavy. But sometimes that's why you have other sets to make good movement, good form. So you got a bit of both. Keep your strength but keep your form on other movements so your body's getting the whole whole lot basically the whole picture you know it's it's a bit of both you need to do a bit of both i think people some people do either too heavy and just heavy 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 or or controlled 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 and nothing happens you know you know they just either get really bulky or they just get really thin <laughs> anyway next video you need to tune in because it's my first physique update yeah i'm going to show you what my starting point is on my physique it's going to be on the sunday because i actually weigh myself on the sunday uh i am um, i started off at 182 pounds which is a nice round number so we're going to see what it is on sunday i'm going to take you through my posing like i said i don't know what i'm going to be doing yet i don't know if i'm going to do a physique or a like 
bodybuilding, you know, like classic bodybuilding or whatever. I don't know. I've, I watched some people um, over the weekend in the PCAs and they... You only win if you're big, you know, in them, you know, and you have to have a big, broad shoulders, big chest, big legs, big back. And if you haven't got that, you're not going to win. So me going into uh, open bodybuilding competition with my legs, I'm just going to look stupid like the half the ones that was on there. You know, I know I'm being harsh, I know I'm being quite nasty, but you got to realise, look at the pictures before and look look at the videos look at previous competitions before you enter these things you do you want to go there and look like a skinny twig or do you want to go there and actually compete and and have a good chance because if you want to just compete just for a one off and have a nice day out doesn't matter but if you are thinking in your head that I want to get in this I want to get in that I want to I want to get a pro card. I want to get this. Just look at the people who win these things and compare yourself, right? Stop beating around the bush. Stop listening to people brainwash you, saying, oh, mate, you look mint. Oh, yeah. No, you don't, mate. You don't look mint. You look at the ones that want it. Now, compare them to you. If they don't, if you look tiny compared to them, you're not going to win, are you? And these are people just in the regions, you know what I mean? So what do you think they're going to be in other parts as well? They're going to have... Six, seven of the people all like that. You're not going to. So I know I'm ranting now and I shouldn't be because I'm one of them skinny people and I'm going to compete. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. So that's why I'm probably going to be doing men's physique if I'm going to do. But I just saw the men's physique and obviously on PCAs, they're on, they're on gear, aren't they? So it's one of them. If I go in there, it's just going to be for preparation for the actual natural body competition which i'm going to do definitely going in because then i know i'm going to be facing people my own size i'm not going to be facing people who are double the size of me anyway hope you enjoyed this video you know where i am now so start subscribing start liking right i want a thousand likes Nah, kidding just give me 10 that'll do i'm happy with 10 anyway i will see you next time with my beautiful body and in my panties. See you later. Goodbye.